week's episode, Monet forgets her number one employee, Rosé. We talk all about teamwork, and we find out what made Monet say this. So your school wants you to take this dead pregnant cat into dead? your kitchen where your family cook, cooks dinner and boil it? And we find out what made Bob say this. There was just so much butt space, like two inches off my ass. You were about to lose your job. Get this dance. You were about to lose your job because you are detaining me for nothing. You're back to your old uh, overall days. When I first met Bob, you used to stay wearing your jeans overalls. Yeah, Where are I, they? Do you know they are? Girl, they're gone. I don't have them anymore. Your little denim overalls. It's a picture on my phone of you. Can you call? Can you call me real quick? Let me show everyone. What can I show them a picture that's on my phone of you? I mean, fine. You want to say you don't want to show nobody that picture? Well, why do you have to get equal? I just want to show them. It's a cute picture of you. You want to show them? A, a... I think I think it's a cute. I genuinely <laughs> you so love so this picture of you. And we just call them on next change at <laughs> Oh my God. Why would you do that? Look at this cute picture of Bob. Zoom into that editor. Look at this cute. You look so cute. I can't. You have, a little, you have one of those little protectors. Oh, absolutely. Because when I'm looking at dick pics, I don't need people to see my business. I need one of these because I'd be up in the, on the plane <laughs> looking at pornography. Have you ever been looking at a, uh, a picture on, like a nasty picture on the, on, on the plane and you yes. know the person is looking at it? And honestly, I'm like, get off my phone. <laughs> Can I show them mine? Sure, Bob. We were at- um, Am the, I calling you? This was when I, in my apartment. No, I have it pulled up. We were at my apartment. And no, I, we're coming from a gig. This is my apartment. Oh, yeah, where is your apartment? And when they had, a, a, it was cold. When it's cold in your city, everyone knows runs. And when they didn't want her makeup to get yeah. messed up, so she just had it. Do you said that rule? Bobby's have a rule, a very strict rule of however he entered your name in his phone, it it never changes. Well, it's not about it being a strict rule. It's just because it's that's usually how I my, my I've trained my finger to searching for you. Am I still exchange? <laughs> Let's see. Are you still having as E Monet, exchange? Monet exchange. Bob, did I see? That's not how your brain has, has been wired to remember. You know exactly what my fucking name is. Well, I know your name, but when I Google you or when I search you, this is how I find you. <laughs> on everything else, you do the letter X, the word change on your phone. I changed one person's name. Who? Uh, this guy who's who became a really good friend of mine, and his name was what his name Grinder, and I changed it to his last name. But it's also because I used to search by his first name and. But also, why do people carry on their phone is in my phone? Like, I'm not putting it that way on the internet. I'm not putting it. This is just my phone. It's literally just my phone. Well, I just I just want to say that your reasoning is flawed because you're saying this is how I search your name. It's like, that's not you search No, on name. my phone. But everything else you search in a regular way. Yeah. <laughs> like, for example, I was, no, I also changed Luis's name too because Luis's name used to be Luis Drag. Lola St. Lords? No, it was, it was Luis Lola Drag. Got and it. then I would send people my assistant's number, <laughs> and they'd be like, J J Louise Lola Drag. <laughs> so I changed it to his actual name. Black but Kennedy's name is still Kennedy Berkeley. I know. Black folk are worried about that. Like, Kamika, she hates that I have her full name in my phone. She's like, well, Kevin, why do you have my full government in your phone? I was but like, it's also not hard to find someone's government name. Like, it's, uh, it's really easy. Kamika is just weird. She's weird. It's a black girl thing. It's I, a black girl thing. Maybe a black person thing. I, I don't know a lot of guys who are like that, but. Yeah, people really do not want you to know they're legal, and it's kind of strange. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't want to say who's like that because then the, the fans will go find her name, but there's a, a drag race girl that we're really close to who, doesn't, who just does not want people to know her real name. Can you say Yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Like, she is, like, weird about people knowing her yeah. name. It's, and I'm like, oh, oh. One time I said it, child, she almost burned the fucking retinas off my eyes. Well, you, if you really want to get wild, don't ever say her mom's name, but she will... Burn it down. Really? She doesn't want people to see pictures of her mom. I'm like, bitch, are you in a witness protection? <laughs> it, maybe she is in the witness protection program. Well, I mean, this would be. A, I would say if you're in the witness protection program and you are out here in this world trying to become be on Broadway and <laughs> uh, TV shows and movies, I would say you are failing at the witness protecting. You're right. We're talking about Rose, guys. <laughs> are you still friends, Rose? <laughs> Rosé is one of the queens who was like, uh, Rosé used to do your show. Don't act like Rosé did not used to do your show. What show? Bitch, the exchange rate. 
Rose used to do exchange rate. What do you mean? Rose, what do you mean she did used to do exchange rate? No, she rate? did like a bit on your show. Didn't Rose have like a drink? Oh yeah, that was in quarantine. The erasure. Well, the, the fact okay. that you fully forgot, you just acted like this bitch wasn't even ever a part of the exchange rate. Because when, when I when I think exchange rate, I think of back in the studio. So, so I have a hard time separating. Yeah, so all that hard work you did, Rose, <laughs> literally meant nothing. Monet doesn't even remember you. Oh You're God. literally nobody to her. She was very funny. Yeah, but yes, Rose and I are still friends. But you know how it is. Like when you're traveling and touring, girl, yeah. I see you when I see you. Are you in? Are you in? Um, who? Derek Barry still friends? I've pro- I've probably seen Derek Barry and talked to her more recently than you talked to Rose. Wow, well, that's only because you just went to the Vegas show. Please stop acting like before that. When was the last time you spoke to Derek Barry? None of your business. <laughs> this is our private friendship. <laughs> And that is, quite frank, I, I'm offended you would even ask that. That is none of it. Also, Derek Barry never did a segment on my show. So you're saying Rosé was- But Derek Barry gave you a career, you're Ratchet saying, Drag. You're saying Rosé was literally just an employee to you. <laughs> and you don't remember, your, you don't keep up with your employees. Was she an employee? Uh, she was an employee of mine. Wow. Oh, my God. De- I thought we were done dragging Rosé back on- <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rose. I did not mean for it to go down like this. I know we have one topic, but I think we we should talk about this a little bit. I'm very intrigued by this. How <clears throat> this is in relation to sibling watchery. How people get so up in, in their, their feelings, feelings about about review. Like, cause here's the thing. All right, <laughs> I get it. We were both sensitive when we were on the show, and you you see something. Don't be of, throwing us up and and don't, don't be hoo hoo ha and hustling. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Miss Thing. But in with the Tamisha and Mon shit last year, and now this season, uh, uh, one of the current girls got a little butt hurt about some things we were saying, and I'm like, Mary, it's just a re- like you're on like it's a review. I don't understand. Well, I feel like okay. I talked to River Medway. How was it? So River Medway was like, "Hey, girl, that really wasn't about you. I'm not backpedaling, Your Honor," is what I like to say, and it wasn't about you. Uh, it was just something I've noticed that people are saying, uh, and 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 she goes, and I and you're right. There is, and I was like, you know, it's one of those things where take anything. I say I really enjoy you on the show. Um, Cut but, to this episode, we were praising her how much we loved her. I also said, but also take that with a grain of salt too. Like, don't take anything I say with like take it all with a grain of with yeah. a grain of salt and a shot of penicillin, um, because like my opinion doesn't really matter that much. Right. It's just. It's just how I feel your outfit looks. Yeah. I do think that you and I get significantly harsher critiques for being critical than pretty much any other review show. This is true. I agree with that. Because, I mean, I love Violet. Violet is mean. Mean. Mean, mean. Trixie has had some harsh opinions. All of them. Yeah. And I will say the... When Violet did, everyone was like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's also a thing too. I got less critiques when I was doing the pit stop than oh, really? I do, than I did on my own show. And I, I will say the pit stop really uh, filtered out a lot of the things I was saying. That I mean, you've done the pit stop a few yeah, times. Yeah. If you go too hard, um, they're like, yeah, they'll come in and be like, "Can you say something nice?" And I'll be <laughs> like, "I like her shoe." <laughs> and then, they, and then, then pop on the screen and it'll be like me going I like her shoe and then it'll cut to like the next <laughs> who did I just say who did I just say someone's name yeah. who did I say I don't remember <laughs> it just came out can I just say I love that you are wearing your glasses all the time now well I didn't have them before well you had access to it you just didn't no I didn't start wearing glasses until um until I got here, but you used to wear glasses as a kid, and you just stopped. And you're oh yeah, yeah. As I, I I lost I lost my glasses when I was like twenty, the like glass I bought myself. Got it. And then I just never went and got them. My, I'm I'm not blind, right? But it does help me a lot. I yeah. just I don't have to do like this <laughs> so often. So I just feel you know my life's a little bit easier when I when I wear my glasses. Okay. But I wouldn't. I don't need to wear contacts. Like some some of us are like really can't see without glasses. <laughs> Jacob, he just eyeballed at you. But there are folks in this room who really. <laughs> since I'm, I'll hand Jacob up. <laughs> like Jacob would be in the bed at night. <laughs> he goes like set his alarm and he'd be like, <laughs> "Oh my God, no. you, you're, you're being you're being." I, Jacob, am I am I exaggerating? Um, without my glasses, I, I hold my phone like here. Okay, okay, y'all. Jacob is doing this. No, Jacob has Jacob has done this before. There have been times where Jacob was like, 
be like, damn. Bitch, that shit is super yeah, Everyone fun. in my family has... Well, actually, that's not true. That's Did not you true. see Demi Lovato's trailer for their new show? No. Okay, Demi Lovato has a show on Peacock called Unidentified. What do you think it's about? Unidentified? It's called Unidentified. What do you think it's about? Uh, I Remember they... I'm just gonna... I mean, I don't want to cloud your judgment, but it's called Demi Lovato... With all they've been going through in the in the media, it's called Unidentified. What would you think this this show would be about? Because we're about to watch this trailer, and then we're gonna cut to your reaction. Maybe it's about her her their, ge- uh, sorry. Maybe it's about their gender being like it's like it, it's unidentifiable. She they're moving through it. That's what I was thinking. I was like, it's about their their journey through gender and being non-binary. All right, Jay, we're just gonna cut to her reaction to this. Oh my god, is that a joke? Now listen everyone, I have I don't have any screeners for this show and I don't want to give you spoilers, but I can guarantee you in this four-part series, they will not find any UFOs. <laughs> this I can promise you, if one person was to crack the case it would on UFOs, done. I don't think Demi Lovato <laughs> That is insane. Is the one out here and ima- breaking news about aliens. Imagine how much they paid her to do this show. They paid her they them a lot of money. Sure. Her, them. Imagine how much this production costs. A lot of money. This is insane. And it... This is wild. There is no way they're finding UFOs. There is no way... Also, now Demi Lovato is like a UFOlogist and like... What is happening? That is insane. Isn't I and I, I was like, oh, it's gonna be about gender identity. Yeah, I'm excited to watch this. Hi, I'm Demi Lovato, singer, actor, and UFO experiencer. I was like, it. I feel like this has to be high camp. No, it's not, Bob. This is real. And also, their friend being like, oh. This is, can we do this? Do what? <laughs> Sleep in Joshua Tree on ayahuasca? Yeah, you probably can. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, and I don't know what they're, obviously they're sober and stuff now. But Are they? Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, that's, that's not, that's inappropriate. That is inappropriate. But people, <laughs> but people go to Joshua Tree and you see things in the sky after you have, uh, uh. There is a scene where it Done lo- some things. There's a scene where it looks like they're 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 doing it, it has th- that um that I know exactly what you're talking about. It looks like they're doing ayahuasca. Oh yeah. It, it has that like yeah the vibe. Yes, I know. You know yes. the ayahuasca vibe. Yes, for sure. Would you do ayahuasca? I heard it really makes you quite sick. I would do. I would definitely do ayahuasca. You know, you know, it, it makes you like vomit and shit yourself. No. Yeah. Can, okay. Can we talk about the fact that like here it is. It is very, that is very ayahuasca. Bitch, these bitches are on peyote. That is ayo- ayahuasca down. This, right? is what, this is what Chelsea Handel did when she did ayahuasca. Yeah, something about, I've only seen it in TV. Something about <laughs> this scene tells me you're doing hallucinogens. <laughs> this scene says, I am about to do drugs. You know what it, it, it sounds like someone who did some acid and it did it at nighttime. You know, acid is is, is, is an hallucinogen. You, yeah. The skies and clouds and stuff start to move. That's what it sounds like to me. And I just wonder why, like, there's so many things you could do with Demi Lovato, like music and right. singing and recovery and like gender identity. Why? And, like, when, when they were like, when they were pitching their things, they were like, "Oh God, singing, yeah." Is it isn't Demi like a Grammy Award winner or something? I don't I don't know if she won any Grammys, but she has a but, like, girl has a beautiful voice. But her last documentary was the one who was almost punched that girl in the face, the one where they almost punched that girl in the face. I was I remember thinking to myself, I'm about to punch this bitch in the face. It's one of the best. Oh, it's so good. Also, just hearing her I remember sing, thinking about hearing them sing at a studio. I was like, oh my God, I didn't know Demi. Demi has two well, Grammys. Does she really? Does, and, this do bitch, they really? and this bitch is out here doing. <laughs> She's a UFOlogist, girl. I can't do All right. I can't do Anyway, Jacob told me about this, and I was I was like, this is the. This this feels like a parody. This. This seems like a sketch that would be on on um on SNL. <laughs> like they'd be like, and now Mariah Carey is obsessed with ghosts. <laughs> Have you guys heard that Mariah Carey is now a ghost hunter? I will say I've heard that there are a lot of these production companies. They're looking they're looking for specifically like drag queens and like uh extraterrestrial not extraterrestrial paranormal paranormal stuff. 
Like specifically, like that's that's like a, a part. Well, of if you all know, Thorgy has a ghost living in her house. So if you're out there and you are a, does she? Oh, she said this on, on first person. person. Thorgy has told me several times about the ghost in her house. I don't believe in ghosts, but Thorgy believes there's a ghost in her house. So if you're listening to this, I'm done helping Thorgy in her career. Let's take a break. <laughs> Apparently, man, we'll talk about that through the break. Is there something interfering with your happiness, or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Um, said everybody. You know, BetterHelp will help you assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. And remember, it's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. So you won't ever have to sit in some weird waiting room. People looking at you in your eyeballs. You're looking back at them in their eyeballs and y'all both wondering what each other's thinking. Girl don't like. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if you need. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is also available. BetterHelp wants you to start living your happiest life today. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash rivalry. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional therapist. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp. They are currently recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. This podcast is proudly sponsored by BetterHelp and sibling rivalry listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash rivalry. And we're back. Monet and Thorgy are in full on war right now. Can I just say, people were like, why is Monet being so mean? I was like, I'm clearly kidding. They're like, why is Monet being well, so well, mean? How come after during the, we have the footage of you saying cut, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> you said it. Like, don't you, don't you feel like the fans think some things, they just choose random things to, to think, oh, Bob's being serious about this this time. Yeah, it, it is very strange. When I'm like, we're literally always kidding around. What about this it denotes realism to you? I don't know. Girl, the, these fans really be on their, uh, I don't know. The fans are strange. Can I just quickly say that you look really beautiful in the um, Entertainment Weekly. Um, oh. You all look so great. Thank you. You know what I kind of wish? What? Who do you think stole? Who was who like, let's say this was like a, a top model group picture. Who was the one that was? Jade Essence Hall. For sure. That's great. Okay, who's second? <laughs> 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 Who's second? <laughs> it's you, okay. It's you. Come on, the lag. You, no, you're, you're in the, okay. So I'm, I'm thinking about the photo and the video. Uh huh. So I like Jada. Was it like a boot or like leggings? It was a boot, like fully encrusted or like, yeah, boot and like a gloves. Yeah, it was, it was like the Cardi B watch. Watch thing, but hers yeah. were like jewelry or jewelry, something. Like stone, like not stones, like pieces of like diamond jewel. yeah it looks really really good it looks you, amazing you also look absolutely stunning i love i mean everyone black people look really good in, in white in white um and i also uh you know i was kind of thinking about this um you're so funny i also was thinking about how i wish it would have been this uh like barbara streisand-esque um moment and uh as or because your your dress was like this kind of like uh, you know, one of the little teddy dresses. Yeah, yeah. And there is this moment like this. I'm going to show you. Uh, Alexis Michelle? Yeah, Alexis Michelle has one. And I was yeah. like, if it was went all the way down to the ground like that, you would have you would have you would have gathered the children. But I feel like because but you looked really really stunning. because of the shots. I don't want it to be so cumbersome on me. Yeah. Um, but I do the solo shots. Gonna be, do you know who shot it? The guy who shot it, the photographer. He listened to our podcast. Beautiful man. One of the most. Bob, he his name is Eric Carter. Eric Car- Bob, he is so sweet and so It's kind. hard to find photographers pictures of them because when you Google photographers, you all you there. see is their pictures. Yeah, Eric Carter. Eric Carter. He's a, he's this he's this black guy. He was um he shot RuPaul for Interview Mag. He's a world renowned photographer. He was so sweet and so kind, and um it was a pleasure working with him. But he's so beautiful. Well, I see his I see his work, but I do not I do not see. Uh, I know Mr. he probably Carter. doesn't post any pictures of himself on his page. Like how old is he? Our age. I don't work. Yeah. 
And that's this is this resume is popping for someone in their fucking thirties. Oh, yeah, I mean Regina King. I'm looking at fucking Uzo Aduba. Yeah, he's great. RuPaul. He shot RuPaul. RuPaul. Wait, all... Is that him up there? I don't know. But um, to everyone know I, I was not there um because like always I was not in the group thread. Monet hangs out with all her friends without me. It was another one of those moments. So do you want to come clean about that? Bob was filming the finale episode of We're Here. Wow. So you, ex- you I cannot believe you gave a spoiler. There's a finale. <laughs> Shut up. I was in for a second. I was like, <laughs> oh anyway, Bob was filming the finale of We're Here, so he could not be there. And then, sh- I don't know. Can I- okay. That's y'all's business. That is, well, obviously, James wasn't there because I, I don't know if James still gets offers. James, yeah. the winner of season two, formerly known as Tyra. Yeah. I don't know if he still gets offers. But he's made it pretty clear that he does not want to be associated with drag RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. I think it would have been fierce if he'd have been there out of drag in like a yeah. white suit, because he is a part of like for sure the zeitgeist of drag and like contributing to Drag Race history and Black yeah. history. Like he really is. He's the second winner of the show. I know. You know what I mean? I know. Um, and he's a part of why the first three winners of the show are all people of color, and yeah. I think that's really amazing. I think he deserved to win. And he's very problematic. I know. And I'm also not interested in, like, canceling people because they are... Th- th- threatening to kill everyone at DragCon? <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't say... Th- <laughs> 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 people have transgressions. For sure. And I've had <laughs> some, too. Yeah. And I think that people deserve some, um, for me, everyone has a different litmus for what they are willing to be forgiving on. Agreed. For so sure. I think it would have been cool if you had been there out of drag. And um, Shay wasn't there. Shay was not there. Um, I, I mean, I don't, that's not him. <laughs> you got some team on? I mean, it's not, we keep getting out, now it's going to make it feel like something bigger than it is. But I, I, don't, I don't think she should be mad about it, saying it, but like one of, like her outfit didn't arrive. So, and they try to get her options, but they were no good options. Like, I saw the options they brought, and I think they tried their best, too, but they were all, like, white girl, new illusion, white stuff, and it just... Not what... I know. Oh, God. Is that problematic? Oh, God. I'm going to get the production team. I mean, I'm just gagged they would bring that. That is so... To the all-black girls' shoes? I think they were trying their best, and and, and maybe they thought they could, like, cut it out and, like, style it around her, but they... They They was like, Evie (laughs) light-skinned. It was that morning, so they were trying. It literally all happened that morning, so they were trying their best to to get options, you know. But and and in Shade's defense, I was like, I wouldn't want to wear any of that stuff either. I would have had to pass. I did not know it was in L.A. I saw her tweet. I have white clothes here. What do you have white? I have like a few. I mean, I've been doing drag for fucking thirteen years. I got like at least three white outfits. She, she, she gonna put your she gonna put your um my your, pads on. <laughs> she gonna put your they gonna clump that shit in the back. <laughs> your straight jacket outfit on. Well, that's like a day. I have I have a white well I have a white gown from uh, we're here that that I would not let her wear because it hasn't aired yet. But I have, I have to have some white stuff. Yeah. I have my white cowboy look. Bob, <laughs> if Shay is it? I, that's what I wore for the shoot. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I released it because I I I was there. I did I did cause it. I got kicked off set. I did cause a scene. Me and Monet got into a one of our. With veganism. We started talking about veganism. <laughs> we got into a huge fight, and then I asked her to send me Jason Cynthia's phone number because I lost it. That's the irony. Um, and then I got kicked off set, but I did. I released the. Uh, the you, you look. You look great. When I was being thrown out, I was leaving. <laughs> I was leaving in. Um, well, honestly, this kind of grows into our topic because, in like, so anytime there's like a big group shot, and you've done a few for Nubia. Yeah. Um. Uh. You. I guess you and I would. That would. That's kind of. I did it for Stonewall. Stonewall. Um. I've done them for. Obviously, we we each did a Drag Race. Yeah. Do you, you know? do you ever try to still focus in the in like a big shot? I honestly, I try not to. I don't like to still focus. I like to. I really like to be a team player when it comes to that kind of thing. But you, you know, still want to shine bright. I want to shine bright. I want to look my best. Yes, Jacob. That was the Oh no! Yeah, I mean, when is yeah? So so season one, season uh, episode season eight, episode one. That was literally what your challenge to do was still focus. I think I won that. You did challenge. win that. Yeah. When 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 the when the goal is to still focus, I know how to still focus, but I'm really interested in like being a a, a team player. Now you know who loves who to steal. I mean, like stealing focus is like her fucking br- her fucking pussy gets so Ooh. wet. Kimchi. So we do this thing where we would take photos on the season eight promo. Try, I never forget this. And Kim would always, 
always stand like four feet from the like we'd all be together and then Kim would stand like really far from everyone or she'd go like all the way to the front and block like three people but she's probably being silly and she did it as a bit but it's still still in focus <laughs> i think a good in every shot i said like i'm probably this one um, i just realized we did do group photos in drag race but we in my head i don't know why i in, oh my in drag race you did yeah but I mean, but I realized the promo photos. We, I say promo, but we're not actually like, together. And oh, yeah, they're they, 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 they composite. I don't know together. why I was like, yeah, we were all just like, <laughs> we're, we were together in the space. Yeah, but not, but not on, on the, the thing yeah. at the same time. I always try to like be like the fiercest. Like in, 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 when we did a little Trixie, Trixie and her friends Pride Happy Hour. The, <laughs> okay, talk about being a team player. Can we like talk about that? Are, are you guys talking about that? Oh my God, sure. You're the one who brought it up. So, <laughs> Monet, y'all go to Trixie's YouTube page and look up, like, look up her pride. Talk, like, go to YouTube and Trixie Mattel pride. And there was this gig, and Monet is doing, like, <laughs> where it is basically Trixie Mattel at, like, a bar hosting all of her friends. Yeah. And then, like, Trixie hosts this event. Yeah. But from what I understand, initially... <laughs> It might not have been presented that way. Initially, it was presented as like a pride happy hour uh, that we would all be like doing the show together. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then you then got like, the script. And I yeah, and and I think it morphed into Trixie and Friends, which it was. Were you? Was there any ego where you like be a team player, just do it? Or were you, were you, was there any moment where you were like, I'm not going to? Because I will say this: I have turned down gigs. Because they've been like, it'll be you and then like this one queen mm -hmm. and she'll be like the main queen and you'll be like some dumb bitch on the side. That's not the word of the people. <laughs> but I was like, I don't want to do that. Like, that does, it doesn't speak Oh, yeah, to I've me. definitely turned on some gigs like that. I think what made this one a little bit different? At first, I was like, damn, not Trixie and Friends. But then I realized like, the caliber of all of us who were the friends. You know what I mean? I mean, fucking Peppermint, fucking uh, Kim Chi, myself, who are who, who girls who are big in the community. So... Part of me, there's, there's 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 always a part like ego, right? Of like, how dare I be the end friends? But then part of it is then the other side of it is like, so what? Everyone has their chance to dance in the sun. So there was a part of me like my ego was like, I can't be the end friends. I'm the fucking main. I am I am the main character. I am not fucking who. I mean, I don't know the friends people. Okay, let me go. To, uh, Ross, Chandler. no, the, the the original friends, living single. I am not. A, I'm not. I a mean, I would say there's even more. Of, I would say, uh, well, good times is more of a family show. Never mind. Yeah. I'm not the Sinclair. I'm not the regime bitch. I'm fucking Khadija. You know what I mean? So there's ego and there's like practicality. I'm like, it's just one gig. It'll be fine. Honestly, I'm Maxine. You are very Maxine. And living single, I am 100% Maxine. And I'm definitely Sinclair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> um, but I feel like, I feel like whenever I like, there are certain people that I would play second fiddle to because I really like them and I really enjoy their like if, if if there was like if it was Monet's Pride Hour I would be honestly happy to be like a pop in and be like hey girl beep, 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 yeah. and beat it you know if maybe if BB's a hard but Nay did one if Peppermint did one um, there are lots of people that I would pop in and be like I'll just do my little bit and leave yeah. but there are times where I'm like I'm just not going to spend my energy time and resources uh, be doing a bit on certain people's shows. It's kind of like one of the reasons why I will never go back on um, watch, watch What Happens Live. Never. Because I'm like, I don't feel we'll never be valued there. here. Also, the job doesn't pay. Right. Um, the job does not pay. But never. When I see girls do it, I'm like, bitch, did you really say yes to this gig? But some people... They don't even put your, your, your handles on. They barely say your name. Bitch. Yeah, no. Um... But yeah, but 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 then again, I look at celebrities who do it all the time. They guess on each other's stuff, and it doesn't for mean, friends probably. Probably for friends too. It you know what I really mean? Diminish. Which, by the way, can you talk to your friend Leslie Jones? We need to be on Supermarket Sweep. Well, Leslie will be at the uh, We're Here premiere um, on Friday, so you can say hi to her there. We need Bob. I watch Supermarket Sweep religiously. You and I would fucking turn Supermarket Sweep out. Only if they, I want, but if they do like a celebrity Supermarket Sweeps. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like like I want to go on some of these shows. But I also want it to be like the celebrity version because, God damn it, Monet, we, I have accepted our status. We are celebrities. We are for sure. And I want to go against you in $100,000 pyramid because I would whoop on you. Is it trivia? It's no, you like, you have to like say, like, you have to like guess the names. So, like, um, 
something that something with four wheels that you drive to work. A car. Yeah. I would beat you. No, you would not. Yes, for sure. Bob, I'm very good at. I watch it. I watch every episode. Okay. Um, I I I watch uh, doctors. I like. Well, I watch Doctor Pimple Popper all the time. I'm not qualified to do the work. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Uh, y'all, I'm so excited for the fall because I get to be surrounded by some of my favorite smells. Pumpkins, apples, holiday meals. Did y'all notice I did not say the smell of a litter box? Yeah, that's because no one wants their home to smell like kitty litter, especially as it gets colder and we spend more time inside. That's why now is the perfect time to switch to pretty litter. Pretty litter is the most... Pretty Litter is the most advanced litter ever seen, y'all. It changes colors to help detect early signs of potential illnesses, including urinary tract infections and kidney issues. Cats love hiding their illnesses, and it's important to catch health issues as soon as possible so you don't break the bank trying to take care of your kitty. Litter box cleanup is way easier, too. Pretty Litter's ultra-absorbent crystals trap odor instantly and last up to a month. Plus, Pretty Litter is safer for your cat and for the whole household. Many conventional litters contain irritants that can aggravate allergies and asthma, but Pretty Litter's super light crystal base minimizes mess and dust. And Pretty Litter arrives safely to your dough in a small lightweight bag. Shipping is free and I never have to worry about storing a big old container in my already filled cabinets with all of my drag. You know what I'm saying? Love is putting your cat's health first with Pretty Litter. Do what I did and make the switch today by visiting prettylitter.com and use promo code RIVALRY for 20% off your first order. That's prettylitter.com, promo code RIVALRY for 20% off. prettylitter.com, promo code RIVALRY. Do you believe in sacrificing yourself for the greater good? For the team? No. Well, it, it depends. And school, group project, absolutely not. I'm not getting a fucking failing grade because you're lazy and I, and you don't want me to rat you out. So what I'm saying is, so you are going to sacrifice yourself by you're going to do more work? You're gonna, are you going to pick up that person's slack? No, I will I will tell on them. I'm like, um, Miss, Mr. Ritz, Bob didn't do this, that, and the other, and he did not answer the phone when we called him. So assess the thing okay, that so way. Okay, so let's, let's play it out. I'm, I'm the teacher. You ready? You're right, the teacher? I, I, I've noticed that you're, um, you, you got this, this, you guys, you have one day to finish this and- this whole chunk isn't done yet. Well, can I be very honest? That whole chunk's with Jacob's responsibility, and I don't feel like it's my fault. Yes, this is this is a group project, but okay. I'm, not, I'm not picking up Jacob's slack, so that's his part of the project. Well, you know, a big part of this is not just about uh, science. I do want you to know about science and, uh, you know, molecules and whatnot, but the most important thing is teamwork. So, so you, saying all can, you all can figure it out between you, because I let you all divvy up the work between you, but at some point tomorrow... This has to be done. So at what point does your job as a teacher come in to to relegate this his like indecency? So let's say so let's say you and Mrs. Um, Marble um have a group project to do. Miss Marble didn't do any of the project. Now what? So and you do do all of it, Mr. 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 Caldwell. Well, the the thing is, as part of my job, no matter what, at the end of the week I have to have my work in. No matter who it is, no matter what it is, we all have to have our work. So you all got together. And this will be reflected in all of your grades. So everyone is getting the exact same grade on this project. It is a group project. I did not delegate work. You all delegated the work yourself. So I'm just saying tomorrow, maybe you can have a talk with Jacob. Uh, maybe you and your co- we have we've we've spoken many times, and he's still not doing anything. I so you're trying to teach us. So so, so let me so let me get this right, Mister Mister Carlo. Yeah, this about- your lesson to us as as students is to do everything and let people skate on through. That seems that sounds like a really healthy life lesson. No, it's about peer engagement. This is uh, problem solving amongst yourself, which is a very important part of science. Oh, well, I'm you know right. what? I'm 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 gonna engage my fist to your motherfucking throat after class. All right, all right, Kevin, we, we we're gonna have to send you to the office. You can't me. He's him. not working. You just threatened to hit him. No, I said my fist was gonna hit him. I'm not gonna hit him. My fist is gonna hit him. <laughs> you got it funny. <laughs> you, have you have you went down to the drama department? No, should I miss the call? You should go down there. You're pretty good. You wanna walk me? I do not. This is getting <laughs> very suggestive. Ring. There's the bell. <laughs> um, <laughs> But like, like you've done Drag Race, and yeah. like w- when one person, I will say that, like you know what? Honestly, I think that what has taught me the most about teamwork in my life, and I'm not trying to be funny, is this podcast. <laughs> How so? This, well, Nate, I'm, gonna, I'm can I just can I just say it? The first season, the first year, we did our little 13 episodes in one year. I was pulling a lot of weight. Oh, that's right. Now, but, to be fair, I had more time. I was well. I mean, I didn't have more time. I was doing eight shows a week at the time. 
but you were like stationary in one place in the thing. Also, I want to say this: when we started, you volunteered to us. You was like, you, you was like Monet. You literally like Monet. Oh yeah, to so just show up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna edit it, and Mitch gonna do the video. Like, like Monet, what's the problem? What's your problem? Okay, what about when you went back to All Stars and you were gone, and I was like sitting here? What about then? But we didn't have episodes. We did have episodes. When I was away doing All Stars, how do we have episodes? We filled it. Miss Cracker filled in for you. Honey Davenport filled oh, in yeah, for you. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. So you say that this podcast is talking about teamwork. Well, I this podcast has taught me a lot about teamwork as well and how to work as a team. Because there are oftentimes, what, what, I would say Bob exhibited chef's kiss teamwork today. It was a topic that Bob has wanted has been wanting to do for a while. You are so childish. And I came in and Bob asked me like, you know what, Monet? It's okay. I asked for another week. Bob said, you know what, Monet? We don't have to do it. We can do whatever you like to do today. It was that that was that was great. I love that. It made me feel very good. Well, if anyone's wanted to go to one of the, the the topic was uh I want to talk about, have a conversation about billionaires. Mm -hmm. Um, and this was I I the, the the idea came to me when um Rihanna when Rihanna became a billionaire and how I I sent out a tweet that got the children. <laughs> Hot. and it was uh i can't remember it was like someone it was oh it was sandra bullock with a with a with the oh, the, the bird mask bird box. bird box and it said uh all the um all the gays when um the oh the girls gays and days when rihanna became a uh, the eat the rich gays when rihanna became a billionaire but we'll, we'll talk about that later Ooh, girls gays and days that's a good one but i actually said the eat the rich gays or yeah. the eat the, the when when rihanna became a billionaire anyway um, but yeah, so the, I mean, so but also this project, this podcast, is legit one of my favorite things I've ever done with my career. Same. And honestly, the fans see it for us so hard. Like the fans, like when I say y'all see it, you all see it. But for some reason, the powers that be. I feel like they don't see it for us. I, I feel like that too. And because I, they I reach out why. to us to do individual stuff all the time. And yeah. I'll be like, they'll be like, who do you want to collab with? And I'll be like, you know, honestly, it's Monet. Like, yeah. Monet is the one that we should be having here. I don't really know how to do this. There it is. For this collab. Did you tighten that one? Yeah. There we go. Um, For this collab. And then they were like, what about you and, you know, they'll, they'll pick someone I don't even, I never even met. Scream, what what about you and Vivian Panay? <laughs> What about you and Elisa Summers? <laughs> we got to get you in a Mystique Summers Madison out here. I'm like, I, I have never met these girls. I, I've, met, I've met Mystique. Um, Although there's that thing that we that offer, and I think we should do it. I think it'll be fun. Just, just. We, I went to talk about that before. I, I just can. like doing stuff with you. Sometimes the pay is not the best, but I'm like, it'll be fun. Drag them. Um, I mean, but it, it's, it's, but but I will. I do a lot of stuff with you. Um, I will. I I often take pay cuts to work with you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I cannot. <laughs> no, I mean, girl, I'm talking about, we both took a pick up the whole, y'all don't realize that the whole first year of our podcast, we, I think. Two years. We never made a dollar. Nothing. Literally. I, I think uh, the first time we made a dollar was on the Patreon. Yeah. And I, and it was not making a lot of money. In the and beginning. also that money was going right back into the podcast. So we were, so we and were, from our pockets. Yeah. So we weren't profiting. We started profiting on this podcast. Two, At the live shows. Yeah. Live shows, which was, one, yeah. Yeah, like two started. years into the process, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So once we started, which we we gotta bring them back one day. We gotta do it. Come on, once well, we a month. Said, in LA. We said and they and they said yes. Every, every, Bob, everyone is in agreement. <laughs> You're the only one. Bob was like, Monet, we gotta do this, Monet. Every, we got it. I'm like, okay, let's do it, Monet. We need to. <laughs> I also feel like back. I also feel. I used to have to like. I I'm not gonna lie. I used to have to beg Monet to do certain aspects of the show. <laughs> I remember like being like Monet, we have to do videos, and Monet was like, I just don't think that. And I'll say it again because it was. And I'll say it again. <laughs> Do I sound like that? Sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And I'll say it again. It's because we weren't being paid to do it. Yeah, but money. I kept saying, if you if you build it, they will come. <laughs> like, I have a dream that, of time gone by. <laughs> One day, we're going to move into a, a brick and mortar space. What does that mean? Brick and mortar, like, like, a, like a storefront or, or a, a, a space. We're going to build out our like legit studio. And we're gonna be like five days a week. Like this show, like Sibling Rivalry is about to be one of the most popular, like radio style shows. It's gonna be yeah. so good. I'm so down. Like that would be so great. We're like, still about and then like it, we could have a thing called like on Fridays we do drag. So Monday through Thursday we could be out of drag. And then we have a thing like on Fridays we do drag and we're in there in full drag. 
That would be so fucking cute. Y'all know this by now. Bob is like an idea well. Bob always has. Bob is. You were constantly thinking about ideas. Like but constantly. That, but wouldn't that be fun though? That'd be amazing. We, but well, I think we have to just start doing it because like we, we could either wait. For, you remember when we we first? I was in San Francisco. Was I? Was, it was during Berkeley. Yeah, I was in San Francisco um, when we got our first call, being like, "We're gonna." It was our first call from like a radio station or or, or a podcast network, being like, "We're gonna sign you guys up." Oh, yeah, and I, I was like, so. "They full of shit." And whoever it was, I don't even remember whoever it was. They were full of shit. They they did not sign yeah, us up. Yeah, yeah. And then um, now we're on our second uh, podcasting uh, network now. Yeah, we switched. But it was a whole thing for people to like see us. But I don't know why, the, like the powers that be, except for these podcasting networks that we've been with, are kind of like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, and I also want to say this, Watchery. I think we're just gonna be a because Watchery such a tight turnaround. Yeah, we had a lot of questions about it. It'll it'll come out a little later on Mondays. It's still gonna come out on Mondays, but the video one it will always be on our Patreon Monday morning, but. The audio one for on all the podcast spaces will be like an afternoon release. Yeah, but if you want to see uh, first and foremost, always go to sippingwarablypodcast.com slash support and join our Patreon. Yes. Um, but I this 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 has definitely been my my biggest uh, teamwork moment. And to be honest, I'm really not into teamwork outside of this show. Like I don't <laughs> I don't I and we're here. <laughs> but also the thing about we're here we're here isn't really about teamwork like like it's not like queer eye. you know queer eye is like five people yeah. working on one person we're here we show up we show up in town we all say hey girl and then, and then guys... we for a week we leave yeah and then at the end we're like look what i did yeah oh yeah but so that's you and the girls what about like your personal team like you like you and domino and Ka-ka-ka? yeah so i that i will say this that is definitely teamwork but it's different because i'm the leader of the team like I have more swag and than or say so. swag, say so. Yeah, more more of a, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I'm having a, I have more. What's the word I'm looking for? Authority. Authority in that situation because I'm I'm I mean, it's like I give prompts. So this is how it works. On, on we're here, we have a prompt for the episode. So you all saw we had a prompt where it was all we're all in football. The prompt was just football and blue and white. So we were like, what do we do? And I told Domino, I want to be in a jersey, but I wanted to be a cat suit. But I also wanted to be, so I want to be wearing football clothes, but not separate. So I want to be in like one full jersey mm-hmm. so cute. moment. And he was like, great. So then Domino goes and like draws up these really cool ideas. And then I will say like, maybe just, maybe just, can we do the hip pads to the side or something like that? And then Domino goes, sure. But Domino, it is Domino's design from my like idea. And I, I mean, when I say a vague idea, I'm not saying refer- I'm not saying I'm just saying like I wanted to be jersey, I wanted to be a cat suit, and I mm-hmm. wanted to be one piece. And then Domino does the rest. So the design is truly Domino's design. Mm-hmm. And then once Domino does the design, we go to Gloria. Gloria will will we'll, we'll choose Gloria, who's the owner of Wigs and Grace, will pick some hair. So Gloria draws up hair, and she's like, I wanted. I'm thinking braids all the way to the floor, and I'm like, I love that cornrows all the way to the floor, fierce. And then after that's all said and done, then Layla will send over a face chart. And oh, really? then yeah. Um and that's typically how and it Kennedy works. Is like... Well, Kennedy is organizing and uh, I I also use Kennedy for a lot of reference in her in her opinion. I, I trust Kennedy's opinion about about outfits and stuff. She yeah. went to, she has a, a degree in costume design Kennedy's as well. Kennedy's great. Yeah, Kennedy also has a degree in costume design. So I'll I'll go to Kennedy for her opinion. Me and Kennedy basically go back and forth over each thing after they send us a first pass. Got it. Um and so there, there is teamwork. And, and I also I really believe in like letting people on your team shine. Mm-hmm. I really believe in letting people do what they do best. Like what I loved about doing that pride, my first pride, I've, all my pride campaigns I've done. Um, the very first one I did, I I would just call them and just give them literally what pride sh- campaign. My um, my Instagram. I, I, my Instagram, oh, yeah, I, did yeah, the, yeah. The, the, I did my rainbow uh, Instagram. And, one, and you, want, you want to talk about the red, the red color red in your pride series? Well, that, that was my second pride series. But the I first one. there was a second one for sure. No, say so what was the first one? It was uh, Dallas. Oh yes, got it, got yeah, it, got it. Lady High. But um, Monet did give me. Uh, it was an oh, just Monet gave me years ago actually, and when before you gave it to me before Drag Race, before either of us won Drag Race, I think. Did I? I'm pretty sure. Like both of this was before both of Monet. Maybe. Monet went to the, like this. Tell them the story of you in the store. Oh my God! So <laughs> we be getting dragged for not putting pictures on the screen. We will. Yeah. I promise this picture is on the screen right now. Can y'all believe it? It is look, it is literally, it is literally right here between us. And I'm right. gonna like like uh uh the wheel of fortune. Ding! There it goes 
But you were saying you're a little. Oh nervous. yeah, so it was for Miss Hell's Kitchen. I don't remember the first or the second one, but the opening thing because Miss Hell's Kitchen is a pageant uh, to raise money for AIDS and research and um, oh, um, cycle for a cause. So um, the first category is presentation is always red. So I wanted this. I was like, I wanted something in like red African print fabric. Ankara. Ankara. So I'm like, I'm like looking around, looking around. I'm like, this is before I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know about the garment district and stuff. So I just went to this. The small African lady shop on 123rd and Malcolm X Boulevard. And I walk in, I'm like, hey, can I see your red Ankara fabrics? And she shows me and she's like, for who? I was like, um, for, <laughs> for my friend. She wants to get a dress made. And, and I wanted the lady to make it. She was like, okay, well, she, um, and, I, and I had my measurements written down. I was like, I can just give the measurements. She can make mm-hmm. it. She's like, no, no, no. I need to fit your friend. I need to fit your friend. And I was like. Um, okay, so I come back like two days later and I come back with like my pads and everything in a bag and she's like, where's your friend? I'm like, she's, she's right here. <laughs> she's right here. And she was so confused. And I was like, give me a minute. So I go to the bathroom, put my padding on and bitch, the look on her face that I came with my titties, my corset, my pads, she was like, and she just, I want to say begrudgingly made this dress, girl. She Were was you like, telling her, you like, it's actually... Were you saying like it's for another friend that she's my size, or were you just like it's me, bitch? I know I said yeah, it's that's what I said. Me. I said that I said that it was for my friend and she was my size with all the padding and stuff on. It was so ridiculous. You were like, I know it's, she's busy. She's a very busy woman. <laughs> so what I do is I just alter my body to look like her body, and we're and we are not the same person. But to be fair, we are about the same size, and I am your friend. <laughs> In your defense, you're right. Honestly, in terms of teamwork, I'm happy that you and I are so similar in size because we really get to borrow each other's clothes, which is great. It's really great. It's so I, convenient. Honestly, phenomenal. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend having a best friend who does drag who is the same size as you. Because, I mean, I be, my shit be a little saggy in the booty sometimes. I did one time uh, fill in. For, so I filled in for Monet on Work the World one time in Paris. Yeah. And I, um, I wore, like, two of Monet's outfits. What? Go ahead. Anyway, I was wearing this, and there's this thing we call in drag called diaper butt, which is where like your butt just looks like too big or whatever. Uh-huh. So I, Monet was wearing this this pink outfit, Metal, the, this like pink metallic, metallic like holographic looking fabric, and I put it on, and I have I had never really worn one of Monet's <laughs> outfits like a leotard before. And there was just there was just so much butt space, <laughs> like there was just so much like like it was like like a, a like two inches off my ass. <laughs> I don't know why that shit tickled me so much. Damn. Um. Yeah. Wait. So how were you in school with with group projects? I was I was a horrible student. Okay. So and you were the one who was slacking. No, I, I, I didn't slack. When it came to group projects, I would not slack. But mm-hmm. you, honestly, my, my downfall was pride. And I'm kidding. My <laughs> downfall was homework. Like when it came to. So when I was in high school, we had it was me, Shanterica. And. I can't remember the last girl's name. Lanithia. It was something with a cun. Because we, we, we had to we had to in, in anatomy. We had to uh, we had a cat. It would give you a full cat a real like live a cat? real dead not live a dead cat from the uh from the like the pound so the and it was so it comes in like a like a like a vacuum sealed bag and it is just a a dead cat yeah so everyone gets a dead cat oh my god and you have to skin the, you have to skin the cat you have to take out all the organs and identify them that is insane. How you all, old you all never dissected animals? No, I've never dissected an animal in school ever. I was a I was a junior or a senior. You have to skin, oh, it's crazy. You skin the cat, you have to identify all the muscles, all the internal organs, and then you have to take the cat home. Someone has to take the cat home, you boil it. And then you get all the meat off the bones. Bob, you, this you, you're kidding. I'm not making Bob, this up. Bob, you are. This is one of your end classes. I'm you telling are such you, a liar. No, this is. And then you have to reassemble. <laughs> Bob, you are such a liar. I'm not. A school is not giving a, a 17, 18 year old a full on cat and and saying like, yes. Take, remember taking a cat home? I'm like, mom, mom, I need to boil the. You are such a liar. I'm not <laughs> lying. I wish I could fucking call Dernika right now. That is insane. I'm about to call. Danica's about to be like, why is Bob the Drag Queen calling me after literally. Danica, there's no way Danica's going to answer this. And you have to boil it? 
You have to boil it. Yeah, you have to boil the cat to get all the meat off the bones. That yeah, it is... happened at Morrow High School, and they give you these dead cats, and our cat was pregnant. Now you, Bob, I'm, I'm not. Now you're kidding. <laughs> you are such a liar. We we named our cat Shankriska because it was all of our names: Shanterica, Dernika, and Chris. The cat's name was Shankriska. Who boiled it? Because I know Martha called with a knife. Shanterica or Shant- I can't remember her name, but she took the cat home to boil it. Dernika's probably like, there is why? But when I say I have not reached out to Dernika in like legitimately um, a solid. This is crazy. Uh, 20 years. She's probably like, what the fuck? Maybe her- so this is going to sound like I'm, re- I'm really lying. So Dernika is a twin and her sister's name is Dermika. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> making this up. Dermika and Dernika Dodson. And I'm pretty sure that I was with Dernika. Hey, girl. Do you. <laughs> do you remember me from high school? <laughs> Question mark, Sin. Um, yeah, you would. You would. Uh, Shan, Shan, what's her name? Uh, um, I think me and her sister, I mean, me and Dermika were probably a little bit closer than me and Dernika were. Dermika. Should I call Dermika? If, if they answer this, would, this would be so crazy. Oh. You are not connected. We cannot connect to them. Got it. Um, anyway, so Shan, Shan, what's her name? Took I think her name was Shanterica. She took the cat home. Her mom was so grossed out. She threw it away. Yes. But she threw out my grade. <laughs> That's not. what. So, so you got penalized for the mom throwing the cat out? So we all had to like scramble and join another group. So me and Dernika had to go join another group because Shan, what's her name? Mom threw our cat away. So you had to take the cat home, put it on your barbecue grill. But I could not. I, I lived in an apartment complex, so we couldn't. We didn't have a barbecue grill. I'm not making this up, Monet. And then she went to go boil it, and her mom was freaked out. Like, why are you boiling a, a dead cat, a, a pregnant dead cat? Also, lots of our cats had BBs in them. Can y'all please sound off if y'all think this is real? And me and Dernika Dawson and, and her sister, Derm- I can't remember if it was Dermika or Dernika who I, was in the group. With please them. comment below. Bob, I just, I, I just don't believe this to be true. This sounds insane. I don't, I don't care if, if it's the South. You cannot ask. You cannot tell tell kids to bring home a fucking dead pregnant cat and tell them to boil it at home. We didn't know the cat was pregnant. And also, how do you, like, kids like you, so what if, what if you don't have a grill? So you wanted, so, so your school wants you to take this dead pregnant cat into dead? your kitchen where your family cook, cooks well, dinner and boil it? The teacher said, do not do it on your your kitchen because the, because the cat is soaked in formaldehyde. And diseases, right. I don't know if there's any diseases. I don't know. I mean, bitch, I they, they get diseases from, from mosquitoes that come out of fossils from 2,000 years ago. And, and from trade. <laughs> and, we, and you let them in your fucking bed. You eat their buttholes. I don't do that anymore. I'm a, you stop eating butt? I'm spoken for. Well, no, I still, still do it, but I'm spoken for. You be eating uh, his butt? <laughs> do you eat his butt or not? Oh, my God. Just tell me, I eat Jacob's butt. Great. Do you eat his butt? Perhaps. Must be nice. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, and, and, and you take the cat home, and you fucking boil it up. and then, So anyway, I had to join another group because... The girl's mom threw our cat away, so she got a failing grade. Me and Dermika went to different groups that had already done all the work, so we just showed up. We did everything up until reassembling the cat. So they failed. And I fucking skinned a cat. They failed Shanterica because she, her mom, threw out the cat. I'm not sure what happened to her, but I know that we. I haven't uh, spoken to her today. <laughs> our group disbanded. Because our cat was thrown in. What is your teacher is unhinged? That is not right. I feel like dissecting animals is pretty standard. Yeah, it's like a frog normally. Something small. I dissected a frog one time. There were schools and bitch. There were schools in my district Mm -hmm. that did pigs. Like uh, how big? Like a full size pig. The whole class would get together and do the south. So the whole the this what did y'all, did y'all not do this in school? No, the South is a different y'all are, y'all are, you bitch. You know that trying to y'all are just built different. Okay, <laughs> the whole class got together and did so. My class there were like maybe like ten. No, we're in groups of three. So we probably had like maybe like somewhere between eight and ten cats. And then there was this other class, 
in our same school that did the whole class had one pig and you show up to school one day and there's a fucking an entire dead pig just sitting on the, t- the lungs over here the heart over here the no it's over one here. big pig and then the kids rip it apart the kids pull out the lungs the kids pull out the heart that is insane. the kids skin the pig the kids cut out the snout the kids pull the brain out and then the kids put the whole thing back together that is insane to me um i need we need to move on because <laughs> i and that's like that's why we and are good at teamwork and so, being serial killers. <laughs> so, did you think that you were a leader in that, or were you? Um, I probably was no. It was science, so I, I was not being a leader. I was always leading like in like theater and like uh, literature and like history. But when it came to science and math, I was never. I was a nobody's leader. And I and once what's her name fucking got our cat thrown out. It was just like we, the the band broke up. Well, and drag race challenges. I always I I'm. I've always been nervous about trying because you know if if the group does terribly, they always try to throw the leader out first. They're like, well, Bob, it was Bob's that like Cory on Bob took the thing, and you end up being the bottom for the whole group's mistake. Our group challenges were um, bitch perfect. Mm-hmm. Who was the leader in that? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember who won that one. That might have that wasn't the reading challenge. It was too early for the reading challenge. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It was Cha Cha Bitch. We did Cha Cha Bitch and Chi Chi Devane and. It was Chi-Chi and someone else. Yeah. Won. Together? Yeah, because there were two winners, and they each get they each get to be the, the group leader, and they, right, and they right, pick right, their right. groups. And you find out who's getting right, picked last, right, and I think Kim Chi got picked last. And in Street Meets, you were the leader of that. I Maybe I was – honestly, I would give it to Betty. Ask Betty was more the leader of that group because really? I was unhinged that episode. That was when I was fighting with everybody, me and Thorgy going at it, me and Lucian Piani going at it. <laughs> that, was, that was an episode where I was like – I was definitely very outspoken. <laughs> um – that episode, and I actually do think that 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 Betty probably should have won that episode. Oh yeah, for sure. Betty was great. Betty was great on Drag Race. Yeah, until she like went home. And the fucking doves. There was a recent moment someone showed me of Betty just like trashing Trixie, and I was like, I forgot how mean that was. <laughs> like it was like mean. Like 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 Trixie was giving Kimchi this like sweet message, and then Betty's like, look how ugly her makeup is. It's so ugly. And I and I'm and I'm untucked. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, she's so ugly. She's <laughs> literally ugly. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> and Kim's like, no. And Kim's like crying. And she's like, oh, she's so fucking ugly. I love Betty. And I was I like, love- Jesus Christ. I and you love know, Betty. you know how it is when people get those messages on Drag Race. Oh yeah, for sure. It's so emotional. Betty I never like, got one. Did you get one? Did not get one. Me either. My roommate filmed one. My roommate, the person living in my house at the time. No one ever filmed one for me. They probably be like, this, this ain't going far. Judy filmed one for me. Judy Darling filmed one. But also, I think they didn't air because I would, I would have been like, I mean, I love Judy Darling. But I would have been like, oh, hey, Judy. <laughs> I would have been like, Judy. On all sides, I would have, I was, I would wish they would have, if they would have like, sent one from you, I would have probably died. I got one from my mom at the finale. Oh, I remember that, of course. But I also talked to my mom that day. <laughs> <laughs> like I talked to her like earlier that day. It's, it hit different on Drag Race because you you're away and you haven't right. seen anyone. You don't even like I mean y'all you don't you don't have phones you don't have you don't all you have is a, yeah. the only media media you have is a television that can that that is connected to like internet like satellite TV not like you can't zoom through like Netflix and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and, and then, on yes you can on All Stars we had Netflix. back in my day no you had to watch what was on TV and um and then you have your iPod full of RuPaul's music and the lip sync song and your memory. And your memory. So, how did you masturbate during Drag Race? You just thinking, just recall, memory recall. When so six weeks long, I probably masturbated maybe twice. I can like, I can like, those loads were probably huge. They were very big loads. But like, when I went to for both season ten and All Stars, did you may, masturbate to any? Of maybe your, three times. Any of your any of your co stars? No, not even one. Not even a single one. No. Ew. No, none of them. It was like memory stuff, like hookups I had before. Because you know there are some hookups that stay in your brain, bitch. There are like four hookups in my brain I will never forget, never forget them. What's so great about them? They were just all the things like happened. One, honestly, one recently with um. I thought you were spoken for. Right, that's what, with with him. I'm like, I'm gonna remember this person in my life probably. It was great. It was great. And that's why you're. That's why I'm locked. That, that, that's why he. That's why he locked it down, girl. Also, I'm a little bit weird out that everyone has met this guy except me. Okay, Bob. Everyone. It cracker. Was, it was Cracker. Pixie. Because they were together. Who else? That's it. You're gonna meet him on Friday. I didn't even. Know, I haven't even seen a picture of him. 
Yes, you have. Literally not one. I did show you. I only picture. got his name when you said it in front of Plastic and Kim. <laughs> has 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 this guy met Monet Exchange? He so he met Monet Exchange in 2018 when I I was leaving drag. <laughs> I was leaving drag called New York, and Patty was taking too long. So it was just me walking through the streets looking for my car, and he said he stopped me. He was like, "Do you need help?" And I was like, N-, "You know, because you, I thought it was one of the fans that wanted a picture." I was like, "No, no, I'm good." And he like try to get to like try to help me do the thing, and I like shoot him away. So he did meet me in drag. Jacob, have you met me? Have you met Bob the Red Queen before? Uh... Oh yeah, did you meet Bob before you met Bob? No. That don't sound sure. No, yeah. but my ex did. You're really. What did your ex meet me? A drag con. Do they have a good story? What did they say? No, I, I, it was after we broke up. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I did meet Ezra before. Um, Where? I, I, apparently, I met him at uh, Mickey's. Um, he was with Willem. Because Ezra and Willem are friends. Uh-huh. So and Ezra said, Ezra said, I paid him dust. Really? Ezra was like, you did not. You didn't even. I did not even exist. Bob, when you were not in the mood. You are not in the mood. Well, when I'm working and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm in drag, I'm working. And I was like, I'm not talking, like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's just some twink, but I was like, listen, I'm working. Yeah. Um, You know what I mean? And he was like, yeah, you you did not. Uh... Picture of him. Oh, he's cute. Oh. What? What did I say? Oh, I that you... shirt. Oh, yeah, I told you that. Oh. She's family. <laughs> somebody. I like this guy. Oh, God. Oh, I like him. <laughs> I, I am so excited for you. Yeah. Do you think sex is teamwork? Ooh, like sex is. Te- oh, yeah, for sure. Sex is a dance. Okay. You kind of have to like go with your partner, but also know like when to pull back way to make it sexy. Or, like, maybe you may not be, like, into doing something in that moment, but you trust your partner, and you, like, go that way. And you're like, oh, my God, that was actually really fun. I think, so I think tech sex is definitely teamwork, for sure. You do What do you think? Yeah, I think sex is teamwork. It is more than anything. It is communication, which is a big part of teamwork. Mm-hmm. Um, it, yeah, if you're going to have – and whether you're having sex with a long-time partner or a person you just met on the dance floor at, you know, Avita, you're going to have to, like – you're going to – if you wanted to be good – you two are gonna have to communicate. Yeah, you're gonna, you're just gonna have to. Yeah, like I think my worst hookups have been where there was like no communication going on. I'm like, I t- or that person was just so set on what they wanted to, so they had, no, they didn't give a fuck what you're, what you were into. Exactly, exactly. Five. Yeah, I, I mean, our, our like high school motto was like teamwork makes the dream work. Is, are there? Is, have you had things where you're like, I'm not asking you to say any names, but people you work with, and you were like, never again. Absolutely, for sure. Queens especially. Like, you do the gig with them. You're like, I never want to tour with this person again. I never want to do a gig with this person again. I will never do this digital photo shoot, whatever the fuck, ever again. Well, can I, can I say something that has been very controversial online? What? Because a lot of folks, because there, a, a, there is a tour coming up with a lot of girls on it. Oh, girl. And a lot of folks are like, I thought the girl said never again. And then the girls are like, whoa. Well. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw that. I saw a lot of people have butthurt that myself. And some of the other girls are on the Murray Peter tour. And um, I wanted to, those people to say, mind your fucking business. <laughs> I think that behind the scenes things have happened. People have apologized. And again, you know me, Bob. I'm like a big old sap. If someone tells me like they're sorry, I'm like, I try to see the best in them. And Do they? I, have, I haven't experienced this part of Monet. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I just, I, I may, bitch, I may, I, I may walk away again. <laughs> I may be like, fuck this shit. But I think I think relationships with people change over mm-hmm. time, and the fans are like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, honey, I heard, I heard." And people, the the fans always swear they end on stuff, and they always have, also have people like Bianca who 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 do the most and make shit bigger than it needs to be. That is true. That 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 is her. That's that's her whole gig. That's her whole personality. Yeah, and but also then then she does that, and then the fans are like. Uh huh. Oh, Monet and Monet and Bianca are fighting. Like they are friends. Yeah. Like Monet and Bianca are are like they hang out. They're friends. Yeah. I think part of being friends with Bianca is knowing that she's probably gonna be shady. Uh huh. At some point. And hateful and nasty. Down the line. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. For sure. Well, can I tell you? Bob, yeah. Things just do, do not bother me anymore. Like stuff like that. I'm like, okay. 
Stuff like what, like Bianca? Like Bianca's in her thing, and everyone be like, oh, yeah, Monet and, Monet and Bianca are fighting. Oh, yeah, Bianca's right, Monet. How dare you? We need to... What? Oh, what makes me What makes me feel so good when fans... Mm. When, <laughs> when fans are like, okay, now you need to respond, and you don't respond, and they get mad that you're not responding. Oh, I fucking love it. Well, the fans really want to hear... You know, there was a great episode. I really recommend any... This is not paid. Watch the other two. The what? The other two. It's on HBO. First season was on Comedy Central. Second season on HBO. It is a show about, uh, it's like loosely, loosely based on like Justin Bieber, uh -huh. but from the perspective of like his siblings, his much older siblings, and this like really famous kid uh -huh. who's like in high school and then second season he's in college. And um, it's like what it's like to, to be the sibling of a very famous internet kid who is like now like MTV's like the toast of the town. And there's this one episode all about how one of his sister is like becoming like she, now she's becoming uh, like a successful businesswoman and there are these girls who are like trying to bring her down like they all they want to do is like just fucking bring her down hmm. and then hmm. one of Sykes's character um was like it's because they look up to you got it like they really look up to you and they and you know when you unfollow them spoiler alert um, when you unfollow her on Instagram, it really hurt her feelings. It's it's a really fu it's a funny comedy. Okay, like That's when you one. when you unfollow her, it really hurt her feelings. So now she's trying to attack you because you mean so much to her. Got it. So then afterwards, spoiler alert again. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna say this one more time. Spoiler alert. At the end of the episode, she comes up and she goes, "Hey, I'm um, you know, sorry I unfollowed you. I'll follow you again." And then she and then the girl like geeked out and was like, "Oh my god, I cannot believe that she's following me." Like. Brooke Dubeck is following me again on Instagram. And then she, like, muted her. <laughs> Which I have so many people muted, they don't even know. Not to mention, you know... Muting working... is better than blocking. Oh, love it. And not to mention, you know, I've been working a lot with, with Mateo on, like, material and jokes and stuff. So I'm definitely going to use this time to workshop a lot of my stuff in front of huge audiences. Mateo needs to be... We Bitch. all We all owe him some money. Me, you, Honestly. and Miss Cracker. Yeah. Because he, he helped me with my with my uh, my second special. Mm -hmm. And by, by, so the way he helped me, he... First of all, he, like, just uses his connections and got me on, like, everyone's show. Like, if Mateo says, like, my friend wants to do your show, they'll just give, they just gave me yeah. a spot. Um, and the same with uh, Miss Cracker got at, at the cellar. She got invited back to the cellar, which yeah. is, like, the number one comedy club in America. Um, it's like the most prestigious, should I say, coming up in America. Yeah. And um, and then also I told him about all my jokes. I was like flushing them out. But like Mateo would really be out here he really is. helping the queen. So I'm like, I'm not going to fuck what y'all have to think. I'm going to use this time to better myself and my, my, my career, my craft. Yeah. So Did you take my advice? Which was what? I gave you some notes about those jokes you told at um, Life is Beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, For sure. I love that. I'm definitely going to use those. Yeah. Let me know how it works. I'm, that was if you use that reference, that was great. That'd be so. What was fun. it again? Frozone. Fro <laughs> when they was saying just going up the steps, to, uh, like, a, it? like a like a ice. ice. Yeah, you were like two by two or four by four, yeah. like last, and I was like, if you because you, the way you were doing, you looked like Frozone. I was like, but you're going up the stairs like fucking Frozone. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. I love you so much. It's a great episode. I love you too. We did some great teamwork today. By the way, just so you guys know, me and Wendy are not trying to be extra nice because we had a volatile episode. We're really is, not. This is our natural. A volatile one will probably come soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but people are like, oh, you you can tell they're trying to be like, we're not trying to be. We're not. This, is, this is the ebb and flow. Is it ebb and flow? Ebb and flow. Yeah. This is the ebb and flow of our. Is it eb ebb? What is ebb? What is an ebb? I think that's the name of the person. <laughs> I don't wait. Ebb like, and. Like DW Du Bois. Oh, it's E B B. Ebb and flow. What is it? Okay, what is an ebb? I'll read the definition for the people. Uh, the movement of the tide out to sea is an ebb. So it. This so you is, don't trust Jacob. And I'm, Jacob doesn't have a microphone. Okay. So this is the ebb and flow of our relationship. It is quite natural. Um, I'm gonna hate this bitch in a minute. We're wow. trying to hang out tonight. And you won't agree. You won't come to the place because I don't want to go. Okay, I I don't mind saying this out loud. It's not the person. I don't like going to the clubs. In LA, I don't have relationships with all the managers. Right. I go to I go to therapy. Rest in peace. I go to industry. And everyone knows you. They, they know me. They're treating me nice. They're ushering yeah. me in. If I want, I, if I don't want to be surrounded, I can stand in the DJ booth. Yeah. I know all the DJs. See, I can that's go back. True, that's true. I that's can true. go backstage with the managers. That's I've true. worked at all those bars. Bitch, I couldn't even. I tried to go hang out and see um, uh, what's what's their fucking name, um, uh, Alusia. And um, cornbread and um, Jeté. You were there, yeah. Yeah. At, at, at this fucking at the Abbey, and the the guy wasn't even gonna let me in the front door. Yeah. The bouncer was like, "Bitch, who the fuck are you?" And I and we had to get the the manager, and the manager was like, I, 
is that BB? Like, who, who the fuck is that? And then, like, they finally let us in. Yeah, I, I feel that. That that I do feel, which is really annoying. And then, so, like, there's, like, no, like, relief. Like, you just, you're just in it, and, like, yeah. everyone is, like, b- 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 coming at you. So, I me not it. wanting to go to Abbey has nothing to do with, like, the people and the show and the company. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. like, I, and I, I don't mind saying this. At a certain level of fame, especially gay fame, in a gay space, yeah. I need to be able to be sequestered a little bit. For sure. I feel that. And that's why, I, that's why there's that weird thing where, like, Everyone's like, I can't I'm just even saying that because you're gonna you're gonna do your little bit where you act like I don't like her, which is not true. I'm not. There's this video of Rihanna like in a swarm of fans, like being like completely swarmed by fans. Yeah. And everyone's like, she's the real one. And it's like if you don't want that, it doesn't make you not real. You know? Yeah. Why do you and do not <laughs> and I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm I kidding. I do not hate Rihanna. I'm kidding, I know, I know. All right, we gotta get out of here. I love you very much. I love you very much too, Roberta. Your hands are so light skinned. <laughs> My hands are not light skinned. They're lighter than your face, Bob. Bob, they're lighter than you. Now put your hand by your face. My hands are not lighter than my face. Bitch. And also the tips of your fingers are li- like super like white. <laughs> the palms of your hand are the color of Jacob's skin. <laughs> Like look at my look at my look at the palm, palm of your hands are the color of, are the color of, of Naomi's skin. Jacob, come put your arm your your arm by by Monet's white ass. <laughs> not the palm, the back of your hand. That is almost the same color. I cannot <laughs> believe how white your hands are. We gotta go. Bye everybody. <laughs> the one where we find Monet's white. <laughs>